Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we are gonna talk about the media saying that Bianca's friends, they're trying to save her and they know it is Kanye. Kanye is doing it. Listen, if I get up tomorrow and it's brains, it has to be Kanye. If it shine, definitely Kanye. If I see snow, it's going to be Kanye. If I have money in my bank account tomorrow, definitely Kanye. If the wind blows, got to be Kanye. Whatever happens, remember, the world has a new God given to you all by the media. And that God is Kanye. If you're late for your work, even if you overslept, remember to tell your boss it is Kanye. And listen, do you know those cakes that we love to whip up real quick and we have been doing it for years and it's always perfect? If it start coming up bad, you best believe it is Kanye. Everything that happens in this world today, it's not a president. It's no one else living in the world. It is definitely Kanye. Let's talk about it because... I'm sorry. I had to give that round of sarcasm because that's what the media is doing at this point. And listen, as I tell you guys, sometimes I am a damn clown. I love to have fun and I love to laugh at ridiculousness, right? And we're here to talk about another episode of the Daily Mail ridiculousness. But I have to say in the midst of it all, Shout out to you, the Daily Mail, for keeping us laughing and entertained because y'all are some set of, um, I don't know what you are, you know, I don't know if y'all are a set of Marsha from Mars, if you're a set of Peter from Pluto, whatever you are, may the Lord have mercy on your soul because honey baby, when I tell you that karma is hella real, it is real. And what I would say to anyone out there who has been thinking about going in the field of journalism, like, why the heck should you go to college for it? Ain't no need. The Daily Mail is showing you that all you have to do is just whip up some nonsense about someone, lace it with an anonymous source, because guess what? The person hasn't been born yet, and like hell, their parents have surely died you can always win, providing that you are as cunning as the Daily Mail is. So who needs journalism when they can make up lies and always lack integrity? Let's get into it. No, <laughs> they're saying that Kanye is trying to make Bianca into a radicalized version of Kim. After that report came out, we saw Kim. Let me tell you, honey. When I tell you that that woman is lurking in the bushes, she's lurking in the bushes. And we know it over here, right? Because we have been showing how Kim copied all of Cheney's bathing suit look. So Kim copied all of Cheney Jones' bathing suit look, and she made an entire Skims collection out of it. And we're going to say allegedly, right? But... We saw what we saw. So we have our eyes on, you know, who Kimmy Cakes is. So after the Daily Mail said, you know, he is turning Bianca into a radicalized version of Kim um, 2.0, Kim rushed to Instagram. And let me tell you, honey, <laughs> she ensured that she find a bathing suit or a photo of her in a bathing suit that looks exactly like what Bianca is wearing. You know, it's very embarrassing to see a woman in her 40s trying to compete with one in her 20s. And she's not doing so on a level that's cute or professional. She's doing it on a disgusting, degrading level. But let's talk about what they're saying that Bianca's anonymous friends are saying. Hey, Bianca, how is it that your friends all of a sudden have no names? What happens to their names? Why have your friends decided that they're going to ditch their names when talking to the Daily Mail. Mm, that is so sad, but let's talk about it, right? 
I love to troll sometimes. And I think you all can get it by now that I'm just trolling the Daily Mail, right? Because, I mean, like, why the heck not? No, they're saying that, um, you know, they spoke to one of Bianca's friends. And this friend is saying, Bianca knew what she was getting into. And they can tell that Bianca is unhappy. So, um, yes, they're saying that Bianca knew what she was getting into, but she found him charming, but he's only charming on the surface because that eventually wore off and, you know, his charm has worn down as the images of her on their Italian getaway show her looking somber and often with her face turned down. Now, listen, there's one thing I've learned about the media and this is why I follow the professional journalists on social media because I can learn so much from them and how to detect a lie. The mere fact that they said, you know, Bianca's friend, they cannot give you any history of this friend, any background knowledge of this friend. It is telling us one thing and that is the friend does not exist, right? No. They are saying that Bianca's friends are saying she's unhappy. And they know that she's unhappy because every time the camera is in her face, triggering her panic disorder and anxiety, she's holding down her head. But who wouldn't? Because the camera is in her face consistently. She wants to be left alone. She's practically just shying away from the camera because she's not into the fame, the cloud, the limelight, or the attention. And anyone who has working brain cells would know that the cameras only capture like maybe five minutes of their day. So you're telling me that based on what these pictures have captured, five minutes, maybe two or three minutes occasionally with them hounding her, calling her disrespectful names. When they call her slut whore, yes, because I had a friend who basically told me that he has seen some of the recordings and they're calling her names. These cameramen are basically calling her that name and she's just perturbed by it. She's angry. Ye actually, I believe, had given her the heads up. She's not new to Italy, but she is new to the paparazzi world. So a friend of mine told her that they heard the slurs two times being hurled at her. So you can understand, because initially when she arrived in Italy, that wasn't the expression. But as time passes and the media kept going at her, giving her the Kim Kardashian comparison, saying that she's inappropriately dressed for Italy when she's not, you could see that each time the camera comes close, she either holds down her head or she stares in the distance and keeps it moving. And her husband has to be holding on to her hands tightly. And sometimes you can see her fidgeting, like she was touching her coat the other day when they were walking. I know how to identify people with panic disorders because, hey, if you are familiar with it, you know how to identify it, right? So she's going to look that way because each time the camera does that, it triggers that panic disorder. It triggers that anxiety for her. And she's like, Lord God, help me through this. But if you notice that when the camera catches her off guard, she's dancing, she's smiling, she's happy. No, back to the friend. Listen, honey baby, if I had went to college with Bianca and I'm there busting my ass on, on a nine to five job, struggling to pay my rent, struggling to pay utilities, you know, and this girl who used to sit in the same class as I is working for one of the biggest names in the world, not only working for him, <laughs> not just working, you know, she is married to him. She's wearing designers around the clock. She's about to be 
the well not about to be she's one of the biggest hottest things right now in the world she's being photographed without being even being asked to she's lowering the kai jenner's price without even trying i would be hating on her ass if i was a hater too i would say that man is horrible for her we have been trying to save her leave him bianca hopefully i can get him when you do <laughs> if you're an eight if you are a hating ass bitch wouldn't you be doing that wouldn't you be running to the media like a snitch as well and say oh guess what i'm bianca's friend you see and we have been trying to save her but the, the, the Dell mail can even get someone in their office and say and ask them if you are her friend and you think your friend is unhappy and this is how they do it you know this is how they do it oftentimes if this is your friend and if you think your friend is ha um unhappy what would you do or they look at the photographs and like oh yeah she's unhappy they're not saying oh my god we're all up in this woman's face and she's tired and annoyed of us they're like oh yeah she's unhappy if it was my friend i would rescue her yay is always a charming guy these women say but after a while he's this he's that but still yet irrespective of the fact that his charm is always dying down these women these are the women that he has dated cannot stop talking about him kim cannot stop talking about him she cries she plays the song she shows the heart you know the heart you know beating because she literally shows that and people think that she's crying because she's hurting no she's crying because she misses him we have um julia fox that cannot stop talking about him she's evidently smitten by him and we have amber rose again listen no woman talks about a bad ex consistently they may do it in the first year as a way to cope and to, you know, identify, recognize they were in a abuse, abusive situation. But once that first year passes, they tend to move on and do so gracefully. And if they do talk about it again, you know, they talk about it from the perspective of a woman who is healed or is still working on themselves and is moving forward as a strong, confident woman. These women, the exes who are talking about him, they're not talking about him in that manner. They keep, every time something is bad with them, they're out of money, they're out of luck, they're out of, you know, income, the, their cash flow is being depleted or it's been lowered. Hey, let's talk about Kanye, right? And let's team up with this ex and let's team up with that ex. But we haven't seen Cheney Jane's talking Cheney Jones talking about Ye. And this is why I believe that, you know, um education is such an important thing, being educated. And I'm not just talking about from the um perspective of, you know, book getting a college education and going to a proper school i'm talking about your emotional intelligence because our emotional intelligence if we are aware of what it is and how to identify the different areas of emotional intelligence we would understand that when we react a certain way to our environment publicly it actually says a lot about us, about us as an individual. So when these women comes out to talk about Ye in a certain manner, they're actually telling a story about themselves. And if they continuously do that, even after a year, um, based on the science of emotional intelligence, they're actually telling you that, you know what? They were also a major part of the problem in that relationship and they are refusing to accept accountability because they are regretting not having that relationship they are now seeing the value of that relationship know that it is gone and they are not able to tap back into that they miss it but not everyone is emotionally intelligent to convey their emotion 
and to be honest about their true feeling so they can get that closure that they truly need, the help that they truly need in order to move forward. And as such, they will forever remain stuck. Now, <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. Like, you know, we cannot control the media and what they report on. But hey, remember, we can always control us. We can all, we own the narrative, not the media. Don't be tricked into believing that the media owns the narrative about Ye or any other celebrity, even about Kim, because there are times when I see reports about Kim and I see they, they're lying on Kim with this one. And if I see a report that I, I believe strongly that they're lying on Kim about, I'm going to say, I believe they are lying on this woman and I will stand tall and speak out against it because I'm a firm believer in professional journalism. If you call me ratchet occasionally on my channel, so be it. I never tell anyone I'm a journalist, right? I may come across oftentimes because like hell, I do do a good job at times, you know, not that I'm tooting my own horns or anything, but like hell, I do do an amazing job. But I just want you to, you know, say that and leave this with you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts. I try to keep my videos at a minimum, but guess what? Sometimes we just say a lot that needs to be said. Let me know what are your thoughts. Would you be envious if you went to college with Bianca and you're working a nine to five and here she is living her best life with one of the greatest men in history? Wouldn't you be jealous too, honey baby? Maybe I would, but would I be bashing her? Heck no, I'd be cheering her on in the background and say, you go girl, and I would be trying to get her number to remember her that I was the girl who used to sit beside her in class and hand her some snack or something, okay? Even if I didn't do that, that is what I'll be doing. But I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts, and guess what? Stay safe out there. Peace.